This is a deliberate process that must be mastered to work in a microbiology lab. In a wet lab, this is done by picking up the tube of inoculum with the non-dominant hand to allow aseptic collection of growth on the sterile transfer tool. The cap is removed from the tube by the pinky of the dominant hand and the mouth of the tube is flamed. The transfer tool is sterilized and placed into the tube to pick up bacteria. Then the tube is flamed again and the cap replaced before it is set back in the rack. During this time, the transfer tool with bacteria is held away from any contaminating surfaces. Then the lid of the plate is removed and the transfer tool is used to streak the inoculum onto the sterile agar plate. Once done, the lid is replaced and the transfer tool is sterilized. Skilled microbiologists have a routine for doing this and can make a tube to plate transfer in about a minute. Here's what it looks like in the virtual lab. We have taken a few liberties to allow this technique to be simulated. First, select the medium to be inoculated. It will appear along with a pure culture of inoculum on the lab bench. Inoculum at left and sterile auger plate at right. Next, turn on the incinerator. Place the cursor over the cap of the inoculum tube and click to bring up the action menu. Select toggle caps and lids, or you can just double click. The tube cap and plate lid will be removed. Flame the mouth of the tube. Look for the message indicating that this has been done. Select the transfer tool and flame it. The tool used for streaking plates is an inoculating loop. Move the tip of the transfer tool down into the inoculum broth. A message will appear indicating success. You must enter and leave the tube through its mouth. Please note, our virtual lab deviates somewhat in the following steps from actual tube to plate transfers in a wet lab. Move the tip of the transfer tool over to the sterile auger plate and squiggle the loop over its surface. After a brief period of time, streak lines will appear to show that the plate is inoculated. Flame the transfer tool to prevent spread of the microbe. Flame the mouth of the inoculum tube. Look for the message indicating that this has been done. Place the cursor over the mouth of the inoculum tube and click to bring up the option to toggle caps or lids or double click. Do this to replace the tube cap and plate lid. Look at the traffic signals to ensure that you have two green lights, indicating a successful tube to plate aseptic transfer.